I'm Rita Dalba, I'm an orthodontist. Hi, I'm Arun Darwa and I am a general dental practitioner. For pain management and also uh, for wound healing. As an, in the orthodontic practice side of you, it's really pain management because, you know, all orthodontics does involve a certain amount of pain, particularly following procedures at every visit. Um, this was a really nice method of making sure that the patients were really comfortable and really good results, particularly with adults who tend to be just, you know, tend to have a lower pain threshold and it seems to work well. Using the low level over the wound and we, the patients don't even need to have um, any pain control after that so they don't take any paracetamol or anything else afterwards and they come back beautifully healed a week later. We also use it for pain management. Uh, we also use it for uh, management of the patient from the moment they walk, sit down in the chair to the leave in terms of uh, providing comfort. This young lad who came in and he's, um, he had angular chelitis which is you know like very soreness in the angles of the man and he had this for a very very long time and his um, I asked his mother if I could treat it with a laser because she said she'd tried all the creams possible, been to the GP millions of times for the past two years, and this condition kept reoccurring. And he was really, you know, quite sort of embarrassed about it, and obviously it was painful as well. He laid the lesions, and within a week, not only had the lesion disappeared, but for the rest of the year, when I kept seeing him for treatments, it had not reoccurred. Most of my laser work is without injections. So I have two things going at the same time. Like analgesia, basically. Okay, so I'm using a laser and I'm using a skin cleaning yet okay, at the same time. All right. Um, and it works very well. The patients that we've used it for are really highly sensitive. Healing of ulcers, herpetic lesions, um, and post-operative pain that has actually kind of reduced dramatically after dental treatment. When I use the laser, I don't always worry about things going wrong afterwards. The frequency is less. Things do go wrong with pain so it, because it's, gonna, it's something like an abscess builds up or something like that, but the frequency is less. If I can drain the abscess, then I'll treat. Okay. But you can treat, you can treat the whole root canal. You can do the whole root canal treatment with a laser. Okay. And you can decontaminate. Again, you can use the low level to decontaminate a root canal, which is another very, very useful tool. Yeah. And it penetrates deeper. So, you know, normally all the ir uh, irrigants that you use will only penetrate mm. so far. Whereas the laser penetrates deeper, so you're more likely to get a more successful... If you're doing, when you're doing a root canal, you actually use a chemical... Uh, hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide-based uh, rinse. So the idea of that is that it actually goes into the lateral canals and, and kills, it the kills the bacteria. Right. But with the lasers, I can get four or five times the, the spread. lateral spread. Most of my patients, they don't actually have any uh, medication after that. What's your website? Uh, www.smilecreations.co.uk